Virgo, welcome. My name is Jenna. You've arrived at the Illuminated Tarot channel. Today we're doing a mid-monthly reading for October. What's happening for you for the rest of October? We are going to get into that. We're going to get some messages from the Divine Feminine in a new Oracle deck that I'm using called the Elemental Empath. I'm really enjoying it. We're going to be pulling tarot cards around your opportunity for the rest of the month, challenges that are coming up, um, the overall energy, what you don't see coming, and also the advice from spirit. One more shuffle, and then we're going to do your spread here. Let's get cracking. Virgo, what is happening for you this month? Rest of October. Show me spirit. What is Virgo dealing with? Mm. Oh, something's really gotten hard for you, Virgo. But it's going to get better. Okay. Interesting. All right. Here we go. All right, Virgo. Yeah. All right. So... We're going to start off with some pre-shuffled oracle messages, like I said, from the Elemental Empath. This is guidance from the Divine Feminine. So whether you're a man, woman, doesn't matter. This is the aspect of the feminine energy, soft energy, the yin energy, what you were being, what is being poured into that space within yourself, okay? Um, energies that will help assist you, frequencies here, okay? That you need to pay attention to for the rest of the month of October. Breathe, okay? Maybe you're holding your breath. Something has caught your breath. All right. Breath work might be important. Return to breath. Okay. Calm the mind. Breath is life. So maybe you're breathing new life into something, whether that is a relationship, something in your career, um, or you're, you're really needing to calm and center your body. A lot of the signs that I'm getting so far for the rest of October is really calming down the nervous system with the upheaval of the eclipse and the, um, the intensity, the rest and the recuperation that's needed right now for your body to come up to speed with the emotional challenges. A lot of us are being um, guided through um, really understanding how we relate to people all of the relationships in our lives, not just the primary one, whether you're single or not, there are relationships that are your go-to people. We're talking about your immediate circle, right? That's friends, family, loved ones. So we're all looking at how we relate to those people. And hmm, do we need to tweak something here or there? But I really think that you need to focus on your breath, okay? I'm feeling a tightening of my chest here. So something has caught your breath. Maybe you're finding it hard to even be connected to your body right now. Okay, Virgo. Also, they want to acknowledge that you are really in an emotional state right now, that you maybe um, aren't even, you're numb. I'm feeling like you're numb right now. Something has made you feel numb. You're trying to understand your emotions and validating what you're going through. Maybe you haven't been validating the emotions that you've been going through in a certain situation that we're gonna get into because it looks like you've got some hardship that you've been facing. So just know that, you know, healing is healing as hard as it is. Don't numb out. Don't do anything in excess to avoid what you need to feel. Okay, Virgo? Something I feel like this is exactly what you're doing for the rest of the month and what you need to do. If you came here only needing one thing from me, one thing that I'm channeling here through spirit is you need to reclaim your power. Something has disempowered you to such an extent that is affecting your body and your ability to even feel at ease from day to day. It's like I'm getting that proverbial walking around on eggshells feeling where you're like, ooh. So you're summoning your willpower and your inner strength and you're healing whatever victim mentality that you may be holding right now over a situation that you were moving through. Your opportunity right now is the King of Pentacles. Maybe you've recently launched something new. Um, I do believe that you're seeing more money coming in and it's making you feel really fulfilled and happy, but I feel like you're trying to downplay it for whatever reason. 
Maybe there are jealous people around you that don't want to see you succeed. And you're finally starting to create something for yourself, you know, that's yours. And you earned it, Virgo. You earned it. So be proud of it, okay? So you have an opportunity now to continue to put your energy into whatever is a source of pride for you in your work life, okay? Like you have that going for you, all right? Don't lose sight of that if you've been knocked down emotionally by something. You know, and maybe you are putting yourself into your work more as you navigate these challenges. Because I see in your challenge, there's some pain here, some heartache. Uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll get into clarifying what that means, but you are dealing with a, a challenging time in your heart for whatever reason, okay? The overall energy for the reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Something has become so freaking hard. You know, we went from the 10 to the 9 as we move across here with the Wheel of Fortune. So I do believe that you are in a period where you're going to see things becoming less heavy for you. I think you've been a bit overwhelmed with something, Virgo. I'm not sure what that is. We're going to get into it. I do believe it has to do with a commitment because we've got a lot on the table here. I do see a huge shift in your love life for this month of October. Uh, you're reclaiming your power, but there's a lot of emotions around this situation. You know, whenever we see the Wheel of Fortune, you know, maybe you feel like you're down in your luck. Like, oh, I didn't ask for this burden. I didn't ask for all this shit to happen. I didn't ask for all these wounds. You know, the Knight of Wands is really taking a stand you know, look at, he's bare, he's needing this staff to even lift himself up off the ground. You know, this is one step away from the Ten of Wands, which you are moving past. So whatever became too heavy, you were, you were working on healing from that. It's almost like a wound that won't close. I think you have someone in your life that either they're very wounded and they're causing a lot of harm around them, or you have a wound that, um, that you've had, you've carried for quite some time. And it's time to drop that burden, Virgo. It's time to drop that burden and release it. Okay? What you don't see coming, you have the moon, the star, and the ten of cups. So, I think what you don't see coming is that, you know, as challenging as it can be, you know, when, when you're dealing with Maybe something that felt like a secret to you or something that was hidden. I think that you're going to get happier more and more as time goes on. Like whatever it is, whatever burden that you need to release, whatever wounding that you have encountered along the way. For the rest of this month, I think right now, you're being inspired to focus on the good things that are in your life. You know, and that could be people, places, or things that bring you joy. You know, you could be coming together with another person. Maybe you had someone in your life that you had feelings for that were hidden. Maybe someone has recently told you how they truly feel. And it's bringing about a lot of happiness. I'm seeing what you, what, you know, what you don't see coming here is that you have a wish here that I feel like you're holding on to a dream that you're not willing to give up yet on. Like you're trying to get to the Ten of Cups with this person. Like you you met someone and you you want you want to be with them, marry them, stay married to them. But there's there's something that's that's hiding. There's been something lurking in this relationship and whether it's unhealed wounds or, um, you know, we have the three of cups here and the four of wands and the 10 of swords with your advice from spirit. And I think, you know, this is the death by a thousand cuts here, which can be quite heavy. But what we don't often reflect on and understand is that once we reach this point of an ending, when you've just You've gone through too much with this person and you don't know how to move past it. You know, Spirit is saying that 
you can rest on on the stability that you've provided on your own with this this king of pentacles energy i think that you've built something that's only yours that they can't touch no matter what happens and if you haven't built that i encourage you to do so with these cards the universe is telling you that there is an opportunity to celebrate here right to come together with people that support you so if you're having if you're fall, having a falling out with someone that you really really have been committed to and you've had enough and you're ready to drop that burden of trying to fight for the relationship i think that you're going to have some unexpected help that will assist you in moving forward i do believe that Virgo, for the rest of the month, you are contemplating walking away from somebody that you are in a commitment with because it's the struggle is real. It, it's, it's become too hard to maintain your vision. There's almost something that has been hidden that, that you can no longer ignore. Let's clarify. I want to clarify these. All right, we're doing good on time. Might be able to clarify more today. I'm trying to keep these under 20. Let's see this King of Pentacles. What is this opportunity for the rest of the month? Making more money, generating more wealth, having more financial stability is on your mind. Mm. God dang. God, somewhere a Sag too. And I shuffled these like crazy in between. It's your challenge. You got a lot of pain here. Knew it. You could be dealing with the water energy, Virgo, the King of Cups. All right, let's get into this. You're trying to focus as much as you can on work, but you've got a heavy distraction. You're going through something heavy, heavy, heavy in your heart space right now. Um, you're grieving the loss. Maybe you're you're contemplating breaking up with someone, or you've gone through a potential breakup. Maybe you're taking a pause on a commitment and you're scared that everything that you've built is is going to crumble. You know, we have two tens here, which is usually the ending of something because it's become too hard to sustain. So Virgo, your challenge, you know, is to overcome the pain that you feel. We have two threes of swords. You know, your opportunity and your challenge is directly linked here. So you have an opportunity to really tap into the available energy beyond this heartbreak and to focus on your work and to building more stability in on your own turf in your own right right outside of this experience because your challenge is i think you're trying to overcome a, a bond that at times you feel together but you also feel like it's such a mess I'm, I'm hearing this is such a freaking mess i think you're dealing with somebody who is going through a potential um, addiction, something in excess, um, childhood wounds, you name it, um, a mental breakdown. I feel like you're being so challenged by this person because they're causing so much hurt. They've caused so much hurt. It's not that they don't love you, <clears throat> Virgo, and I'm getting kind of choked up. It's not that they don't love you. I think they love you a lot. Like, but this, this can also be holding on to a fantasy, right? So we have the Three of Pentacles, the devil, right? Three of Pentacles is, is coming together, building a life together. You know what I mean? Partnerships, cooperative energy, co-creating at its best, right? The King of Cups can often live in a fantasy world. Not only do I think they love you and you love them, but you might, be, you might have been living in a bubble right? Of things being perfect. But what you're actually getting is, is a, a, a toxic attachment here. So all this pain that's been generated in this love, I think you're starting to look at the reality of things and you don't like what you see. You don't like the way it's making you feel from day to day, the walking on eggshells. So your challenge right now is to Take a breath, pause, feel your emotions. 
reclaim your power. I think that this situation has completely disempowered you. This person emotionally dysregulates you. And it's like you get over one hurt or one spat only to experience another spat. Whatever way they're responding, I think you're dealing with somebody with either an addiction, a third party, or they just have so much work they need to do on themselves. It's like you can no longer hold on to this dream, this fantasy, because it's just, is it real? You know, you, you want so badly to believe in this happily ever after with them, but there is so much pain that has and that you have encountered along the way. It's like, if this is the way it's going to be, I want out. If I'm going to continuously set myself up to get wounded and betrayed and hurt over and over again, and they could be small hurts, like I said, death by a thousand cuts. It's, it's that, that point where you, you say you've had enough. That point you say, it is not mine alone to carry this anymore. Why aren't you cleaning up your side of the street? If you have an addiction you're bringing into this, if you have, you know, a third party you're bringing into this, if you have, you know, an unmitigated, you know, um, disaster of a career or, you know, they're in victim, poor me mentality and you just can't deal with it. You know, you want to embody the King of Pentacles. Where's, where's the Queen of Pentacles here? Where's, you know, they're showing up in, in a King of Cups energy for you, right? But it's attached to the devil. Are they, are they, is, is, is this a fantasy? The challenge is to overcome the pain and the hurt because this person is, is, is put you in such an emotional, anxious state that it's affecting, it has affected and can, is continuing to affect your work life. It's like you can't stay clear headed in your work because you're constantly distracted by what they're going through. This is somebody that's like, it's like if you don't show up in the right way, if you're not like constantly communicating, if you're not giving them the right amount of energy, there's, there's like almost like this, this immaturity there. They have wounds here that, that are interfering. All right, Virgo. Sorry, this feels like an intense read. I want to get one final message here. Your advice is to see it for what it is. Build stability on your own right now. Build stability on your own. Try to overcome this pain. There's the queen of pentacles. There's the queen. All right, show me. Yeah. I think what you're being guided right now, as hard as it is, your intuition is telling you when it comes to king and queen pentacles. I feel like your intuition is guiding you. This knight of pentacles is this is a messenger energy of passion, enduring love. You could potentially have somebody else that even is in your life already, Virgo that is a better match for you, that you have an inexplicable pull toward. And your intuition is telling you that maybe the person that you've been with, that you've been putting up with, that you've been tolerating, isn't the one for you, Virgo. It's funny, I'm like, where is your queen? It's not them. This is the King of Cups. They're an emotional mess. They're all over the place. I'm really getting that off them. Because it's showing up with the devil. I think you're considering maybe going off on your own because you want to attract or you already have an energy in your life that's a match for you. Because you want to be with someone who's abundant, who can stand on their own, who can maximize the opportunities in life. Something to build on. These two people, my favorite couple in the deck because they build stability and security. They're practical, but they love one another and they trust one another. Okay? There's still passion here, right? I feel like you've got somebody else in the sidelines. If you have not met them, they are there. If you do the work to clean this up and you release this pain and you let go and you let this end and you release this unhealthy attachment, you have something so much better waiting for you. 
Okay, Virgo, you need to go within and trust your intuition. If your intuition is telling you, I am walking on eggshells all the time. Maybe this isn't what I want. This is not what I signed up for. This is not someone who matches my energy, where I'm going, where I want to be. This isn't it. This ain't it. All right, Virgo, I hope this message helped you. You're really being guided right now to take a pause and reclaim your power. Because wherever you are right now in your love life, it is falling apart for a reason. Because I do believe you have someone better out there. That if you can just release this person, there is not your fight anymore. It's their own fight. Okay, you've done your best. You've given it your all, okay, with these two tens. It's time to drop it and release it and work on yourself now, okay? That's the message I have for you, Virgo. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.